Kanisa sipiwe and I know that before even his word comes he has already ministered unto us Kanisa sipiwe how many are expecting Jesus this morning Amen Today don't know but amen I have a message the message is all about intimacy with God intimacy with God Kwenye mkono vitabu, intimacy with God. Kwa kiswa hindi ya jesu ni ukaribu na mungu. Intimacy ni ukaribu tika. Kuwa na ukaribu na mungu. Kwa na yesu asifiwe, asifiwe mwokozi. Direct, I just want you to put. Kwa hivyo kitijui, lakini tuweke look. Chapter 8, look 8 from verse 40 to 45. Display, just display it. Bwana Yesu asipiwe. Look 8, 40. That is our main text this morning. Wangapu wanaisi baridi. Bwana Yesu asipiwe. Na kumuka time tulikuwa watoto. Tukienda Sunday school. There is a song that we used to sing. Akikamba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wipo nilikuwa nasema hata Yesu alipokuwa mtoto hakuwa anachelewa kwenda kanisani hata kukiwa na mvua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That is the song that we used to sing. Lolo tukumenyesha watu wa mpizo wa college Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I I was like I was a Sunday school teacher. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Niko hapo nawaambia hata Yesu alipokuwa mtoto kwa nachelewa kwenda kanisani kisa na mana kuna mvua kwa nesu asifiwe kwa sababu walijua kwa mba they are just showers from his father kwa nesu asifiwe amen 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 so praise God before we read that verse kwa nesu asifiwe the church of today kwa nesu asifiwe the church of today imekua used to be breastfed kwa nesu asifiwe Tume, 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 jizoyesha kunyonyesha Wana Yesu asifiwe Asifiwe mokozi We come here in church, wana Yesu asifiwe But we are just here No, to, to, hear me To quit breastfed, wana Yesu asifiwe We don't need that really intimacy With our God, wana Yesu asifiwe We don't really need that deeper An intimacy with God, wana Yesu asifiwe That is the church that we are today Wana Yesu asifiwe Nataka tu mungu haka tulekebishe Asubu ya leo Kwa sababu, unajua chenye unakitaji, kutu. 
kutoka kwa Mungu pigia tu bwana wa kofi amen amen bwana yesu asifiwe and i just want to tell you something that your glory doesn't mean that you are maturing bwana yesu asifiwe growth doesn't mean that you are maturing in him bwana yesu asifiwe unaweza kuwa you are growing yes but you are not mature bwana yesu asifiwe maturity is a decision spiritual maturity is a decision you decide to be mature bwana yesu asifiwe so kama if you are growing decide also to mature bwana yesu asifiwe if you are growing spiritually decide to do what to mature amen bwana yesu asifiwe so let us read look it for the beginning the same and it came to pass that when jesus was returned the people gladly received him for they were all waiting for him how many are waiting for him this morning amen and then so the people were all waiting for who for jesus this is a teaching class 41 and behold there came a man named jairus and he was a ruler of the synagogue and he fell down at jesus feet and besought him that he would come into his house eh eh alikuwa anaenda kufanya nini tuendelee for he had one only daughter about 12 years of age and she lay dying but as he went the people dropped him 43 ah achia tu bwana yesu asifiwe tunasoma 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 historia ya this jairus bwana yesu asifiwe biblia inasema kwamba he was a leader bwana yesu asifiwe a leader of the synagogue bwana yesu asifiwe and then the bible says that as people were waiting for jesus this man came to jesus bwana yesu asifiwe na kaanguka miguuni mwa yesu akamwambia kwamba just come into my house kwa sababu mtoto wangu wa miaka 10 na ngapi miwili si ndio ako karibu kukufa bwana yesu asifiwe i just want us to reason together katana for example uko na mtoto wako mmoja sasa ni mgonjwa and sasa uta like unataka atibiwe si ndio uta utambeba wende naye hospitalini ama utakimbia kwa daktari umwambie kuja uponye mtoto wangu what will you do what will you do church utafanya aje mama kanisa let me just give this example ni iv God forbid ni iv kwa nesha sikio ni mgonjwa badala umpeleke hospitalini unakimbia kwa daktari unamwambia just come into the house eti mtoto wangu ana anakufa bwana yesu asifiwe just imagine this ego that this man had bwana yesu asifiwe instead of carrying this daughter ampeleke yesu amwambie just heal my daughter alikuwa na the audacity ya kukimbia mwenyewe aende kwa yesu as if he was the one who was sick bwana yesu asifiwe tuko pamoja kanisa tuna reason pamoja kama niko zangu bwana yesu asifiwe so this man instead of carrying his daughter ampelekee yesu amwambie just in my daughter he went alone at yesu kuja kuja kwa nyumba yangu mtoto wangu ni mgonjwa bwana yesu asifiwe this man just because he was a ruler he had that ego just because i am a ruler yesu anafaa akuje kwa nyumba yangu bwana yesu asifiwe the same as our church today bwana yesu asifiwe etikisa na maana wewe ni leader wewe ni kiongozi hapa kanisani kila time lazima hata kama uko mgonjwa lazima utasema ah si pastor anafaa tu akuje kwangu anione bwana yesu asifiwe etikisa na maana wewe ni mgonjwa uko hospitalini unasema ah pastor anafaa akuje hospitalini anione i am a prison worship leader mimi bwana mtumikia bwana kwa kanisa yake pastor lazima lazima akuje bwana yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You might be there blaming her. Tuseme kwa mfano akose kuja kukuona hospitalini, utaanza kulalamika eti mbona 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 pastor hakukuja kuniona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini wewe mwenyewe utajiuliza ni mambo mangapi maybe anapitia kwa nyumba yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe mwokozi. Kuna this daughter, a sister, aliweniambia like she was a prison worship leader. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Then she fell sick at the hospital ini akaenda kalazwa bwana yesu asifiwe so tena malilazo alikuwa anasema ah si pastor lazima akuje anione 
kwa nisi amesikia mimi ni mgonjwa bwana Yesu asifiwe so akatibiwa akakuwa release pasta hakukuja bwana Yesu asifiwe so yeye akatoka hospitalini hapo na yale mauchungu eti lazima niende kwa pasta ni mpashe bwana sasa hukuja kuniona na nilikuwa mgonjwa si amesikia nilikuwa mgonjwa bwana Yesu asifiwe this is alikuwa na mauchungu anaenda kwa pasta sasa anasema naenda yani nitaenda ni mpashe hata hata wewe niona kwa hiyo prison washington bwana Yesu asifiwe achilia hivyo bwana Yesu asifiwe akajibeba akaenda kwa mtumishi tena fika alipata pasta with her two parents alikuwa nao nyumbani walikuwa wote ni wagonjwa bwana Yesu asifiwe so tena alifanya yani hata hakusema kitu alikuwa amekuja kufanya alikimbia akaenda tu kwa choo akaenda kujifungia akaenda kalia kaomba Mungu msamaha bwana Yesu asifiwe like yale mauchungu alikuwa nayo bwana Yesu asifiwe like so have you ever asked yourself like ni vitu ngapi pasta huwa anapitia kwake kwa kuje kumkomo bwana Yesu asifiwe like kila time ukiwa tu na kitu unataka pasta unataka pasta lazima akuje pango lazima tu akuje kwako kuna yani umejiuliza ni mangapi wanapitia huko kwake umei ataenda huko kwake wewe umuone bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe mokozi so this is what this man did bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana leopolda na mtoto aenda tibiwe alimwacha nyuma bwana Yesu asifiwe Yesu kuja tu kwa nyumba yangu mtoto wangu uko karibu kukufa kuja upone bwana Yesu asifiwe nani alimwambia asimbebe praise god Praise God once more. So, verse 43. We see another different story. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Story ya huyu jamaa imepigwa kando. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kama aliambiwa we jitenge kaa hapa kando kidogo. Acha nihudumie huyu mwenye kwa hapa baby. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let me just acha nihudumie mwenye kwa hapa. She is ready to have a need to mash with you. Wewe mwenye uko na pride kaa kando. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So this woman that you are reading here, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. She had a spiritual 
desperation for God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. She was hungry for Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes, alikuwa na shida for 12 good years. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini alijileta kwa Mungu ili Mungu akaweze kumhudumia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How many are desperate for him this morning? Wangapi wako na kiu na yeye asubuhi ya leo? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I just have an example here. Praise God. Let's see now our technicians here. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua unaweza kuwa yes you are a technician but you, you come to church with your skills. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unasema ah si mimi najua kucheza hii kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe mwokozi. You are not desperate for God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are not hungry for him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No matter sometimes unapatanga yes unacheza but you become an annoyance to the church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because the church came expecting. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But we
asifiwe asifiwe mwongozi factor number 1 bitterness bitterness mauchungu factor number 1 bitterness Praise God church the church of today is very bitter bwana yesu asifiwe mtu amekuta kanisani lakini moyo wake umejaa mauchungu bwana yesu asifiwe maybe inaweza kuwa ni the past experience or whatever but the heart is full of bitterness bwana yesu asifiwe so the time you come here that time tunasema inua mikono wewe hata uoni haja bwana yesu asifiwe kwa sababu your heart is full of bitterness your heart is not open for him but full of what bitterness bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe 